hi you guys welcome back to my channel today i am here to help people who are struggling with their faith who are struggling in their salvation and i want to help you grow in god so i have started this series of videos that is going to help you just grow in your faith and become a stronger christian and to just build yourself up in the faith daily distractions for weak Christians but don't get offended I'm just talking about people who may be babes in Christ and you feel like this has been a struggle to really just stay grounded in the Word of God the will of God so I want to help you today I want to give you some example of some distractions that may be daily to your salvation that could that could potentially pull you out of the will of God. And there are some things out there in this world today that um, is pulling people out of the will of God. And so I wanna help you with those things. I have struggled with some of these things and I believe that I have overcome these things with continually fasting and praying and being in the will of God and the word of God. So the first distraction would be unsaved friends or unsaved friends or unsaved relationships or any kind of relationship you're in with a person and they may not be on the same journey as you they may not be trying to grow in god they may not be uh in the will of god or even just headed to that path they may be living a whole different lifestyle a lifestyle that you are probably trying to get away from that can be like a really, really big distraction because um, we are just people who love like our family. We love our friends. Uh, we love uh, the connections that we have with people. And sometimes when we give our life to God and we receive our salvation, it's hard for us to let those friends go. It's hard for us to disconnect ourselves from people that we are used to being with all the time and spending time with. But if they are living a lifestyle that you're trying to disconnect from, that can be so deadly towards your growth in God. You will not be able to grow in God when you are attached to people who are not living a godly, righteous lifestyle. So that's the number one thing that you will have to do. And you can do all of these things through uh, prayer. Like I know it's hard, but we can do all the things through Christ who strengthens us. So if we pray about those things, God will help us to break away from those people. And if the, they really really love you they'll understand the journey that you're on and the things that you're trying to do so you really have to get away from people who are not living the lifestyle that you desire to live in God okay another big distraction and I talk about this all the time is social media and not just social media but specifically TikTok TikTok is a big 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 distraction i recently got on tiktok in um december of 2021 and um god had actually been dealing with me about getting on the platform and so i had some people to confirm it and i went ahead and got on and i just um do ministry on it i can see how it can be super distracting because you don't have a way to filter out what you want to see it's just you know different things popping up and you scroll you're and you find yourself looking at all different types of videos all throughout the day and not only that if you are there for ministry and you are there to connect with other people who are growing in god um there are so many doctrines out there and there's so many people preaching so many different things and then you'll get confused and it's just really it's it's a crazy world out there there are people on there who are like preaching the truth and um, they're preaching um, the Bible strictly the Bible but there are people on, on there that are um, like saying it with their mouths but their 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 image and the things that they're doing and the music that they that they use it, it shows something else so you have to be very very careful on social media platforms that you don't get distracted because your main thing is to grow in God so you have to be very serious about your relationship with God your salvation in Jesus Christ so 
be very, very careful when you're on social media. Your time, because we are talking about people who are trying to grow in their faith. So your time has to be spent reading the word of God, studying the word of God, connecting with people one-on-one or with a ministry that is preaching and teaching the word of God. Another big distraction is super R-rated movies, if that's a thing. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm talking about movies that has a bunch of violence in it and a bunch of um, sexual things in it, things that you do not need in your spirit. Once you get um, receive salvation, you have the spirit of God. You have to feed your, the spirit of God what it wants. And it does not want all of these worldly things. And it does not want to, you're not going to grow if you are indulging in um, things that is ungodly. So, you know, you have to really be careful about the things that you uh, see, the things you hear, you know, because that affects you your spiritual growth so um, that's why a lot of people go on a certain amount of uh, days of fasting or consecration because they're trying to purify their spirit and they're trying to So be careful about the things that you watch because it is very, very important and it has a lot to do with your growth and you can tell the people who that is all they do is watch things that um, does not glorify God. So you want to make sure uh, when you're growing, it was a, a certain amount of time uh, on this journey not long ago that I was like, I'm not going to even watch TV at all. So I've spent maybe three months could be a little less than three months no tv netflix nothing like that if i did turn the tv on it was a, a faith based movie that i would watch okay so this this is the last one and i know people are gonna say things about this in the comments so i really don't care but i'm being very very real real with you and i want to help people grow and that is my heart's desire you know that is my ministry to give you the truth so that you can grow in god so uh, my last distraction is if you got super busy children who are in all types of activities who do this 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 and you find yourself cannot get uh, uh um any time with god you can't get any prayer time you can't get any time in the word you can't get any time in um fellowshipping with other believers then you need to sit down and and have some uh balance in your life and you know because it's nothing wrong with supporting your children it's nothing wrong with them being involved in things my daughter was involved in track and, and soccer and all kinds of stuff and we traveled you know what i'm saying but you still have to find time to uh grow in God. You have to find time to connect with God. You have to find time to get in prayer uh, for your family also, for your children, your spouse, you know, whoever you are connected to. So uh, sometimes when we have children that are involved in so many things, especially if you have more than one child and you have to go here, 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 and you got this on Monday nights, this on Tuesdays, this on Wednesdays, this on Thursdays, sometimes you have to say, hey, because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, when everything is over this world is over you know what i'm saying you can't go to the father and be like you know what i'm saying well i had to take my kids here 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 i did not have time that's not going to be a great excuse so just find some kind of balance because you want them to uh be a part of things and you know it may be a time where you know the next parent whose child is also in that uh sport or whatever it is and maybe they can grab them this time and you say you know this this time i'm spending at home and i'm gonna just be in prayer or i'm gonna really get into my bible study or you know whatever it may be but hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to try to do more videos like this. I am um, just dedicated to helping people um, grow in God and grow in their faith and just to trust God and to just go to the next level. So that is what I'm here for and I'm here to tell you the truth. So I hope you like this video and make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah.